Good morning, hi. Welcome to 90 Picnic Point Road in the town of Brookton, Maine. I'm Phil McPhail with United Country Lifestyle Properties of Maine. What I wanna show you today is an affordable lakefront home that's year-round accessible here in Northern Washington County. This home features one floor of living, full basement, two bedrooms, a bath, plus an oversized two-car garage that's detached with potential more living space on the second floor of the garage. So come along with me, we'll take a look at the entire property together today. Before we go in and take a look at this property, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and hit that subscription button down below. Put on all notifications, you won't miss our next video. And by the way, if you're thinking of selling your property here in the state of Maine and you'd like to have it featured here on this YouTube channel, give us a call at 800-286-6164. We cover most of the state of Maine and we've got agents um, all over the place. I'm sure we can help you sell your home. I'm standing here in the middle of Picnic Point Road and I'm not too, I don't have much fear for my life here in this road. There's only a couple year round residents on this road. Most of the cabins are seasonal. Brookton, where we're at today, is, is in Northern Washington County. And the nearest town of any services would be Danforth. And that's about 13 miles north of us here. In Danforth, there's a bank, there's a grocery store and a few other shops. The nearest city to us here would be the city of Callis, which is about 45 miles south of us. Bangor, Northern Maine's largest city, is about 100 miles away from here. Boston, about 332 and about a five and a half hour ride. You really wanna go check out a, a city here that's close, uh, 90 miles, the capital of New Brunswick, Canada, Fredericton, is just across the border, about a 90 mile drive, take you less than two hours to get there. You're probably wondering what else is around this area of Washington County, because this is a pretty remote part of the state of Maine. The six and eighth largest lakes in the state are 10 miles east of us here, right on the border with New Brunswick. That's East Grand Lake and Spednik Lake. Those two lakes are beautiful for boating. There's cold water fishery there. There's uh, exceptional, exceptional smallmouth bass fishery in both those lakes. One and a half miles from this location is another huge lake, just under 7,000 acres of Baskahegan Lake. Baskahegan Lake is a, is the most interesting body of water you'll find in the state of Maine. It almost looks like a, a fingers sticking out of it everywhere. Not a deep lake, but it's got, it's right full of smallmouth bass. A lot of the guides take their sports there when they know they want them to catch fish. They'll catch them at Baskegan Lake. Washington County has more conservation lands than all other counties in Maine per capita. We've got uh, hundreds of thousands of acres here in some sort of conservation or other. Up and down the entire county, we'll have a map here on the screen. You can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. So if you're looking for places to go hiking, hunting, fishing, boating, you name it, whatever you want to do outdoors, uh, there's plenty of room around here to do it. While we're talking about that, most of this town and a lot of the townships surrounding Brookton is owned by the Baskegan Company. Baskegan Company is a uh, timber company that is really into sustainable forestry. They do a wonderful job managing their forest here in this area of Maine. They own tens of thousands of acres that they have open to the public. You can snowmobile on their road system as long as it's not plowed road. Uh, you can hunt in there, you can go fishing. They own all the land around Baskahegan Lake. So, you know, really, a really good company, uh, a lot of access for the public on lands surrounding this home and this whole town. And last, but certainly not least, the uh, Grand Lake Stream Village in Grand Lake Stream itself is 32 miles south of us here. That is a mecca for fly fishermen that like to come up here and catch trout and salmon in that beautiful crystal clear waters of uh, Grand Lake Stream. And in the village, you also have a boat landing, an exceptionally good boat landing for access into West Grand Lake, who's, you know, also is, is famous for trout, lake trout and, and salmon fishing. We're down here at the shore of Jackson Brook Lake where the property fronts here. And this is Jackson Brook Lake behind me. It's about 731 acres of, of water here. Maximum depth's about 20 feet. Great place to catch smallmouth bass, perch, and pickerel. And this is kind of interesting because there's another lake that's connected to this called Drake Lake. You'll see it on our, our overhead shots and the map here. But Drake Lake is uh, down on the far end of the lake. There's a thoroughfare you can boat through to get into that. That lake's about 260 acres. A lot of undeveloped shoreline on both these lakes, especially on Drake. There's only a few cabins down there. Most of that land is not developed. 
some sandy beaches for swimming down there, also great fishing. All right, so now that we've talked about the lakes, let's take a look at the land here. Um, we've got an acre of land, all surveyed, and we've got 154 feet along the shoreline here. And as we come up, what you're gonna notice about this lot, oh, by the way, there's a nice aluminum dock that comes with this property. And it's fairly deep water right off the shore, so you can, you can keep a, a dock here and a, and a boat, no problem. What you're gonna notice about the land is it's relatively level. Uh, very gentle slope up to the house. The home we're gonna go take a look at next. So this, this land comes up, hits Picnic Point Road and has a little bit of land on the other side where the garage is. And because this road has very little traffic, you're really not gonna have any issues having the road here close to the house. This would be all lawn area up here. Our drilled well is over on the other side of the lot. We have a septic system right here and we have a design plan for that. If you'd like to see it, we'd be happy to send that to you as well. All right, so beautiful lot. Let's go in the house and start looking at that and then we'll finish up over in the garage. Folks, I just came in through this side door here on the driveway side. We do have another entrance off the front porch. Um, talk to you a little bit about this house. It's a 24 by 32 modular ranch style home on a full foundation. This home was built here in 1996. Very well done. Uh, it's quite simple. It's 768 square feet, so it's not a huge house. It's easy to take care of. All vinyl siding on the exterior. The, the interior, we got vinyl on the floor and match V match pine on the walls and your uh, drywall ceilings. If you want to see, we're going to take you through the whole house, but if you really want to see the floor plan in detail, we will have a Matterport 3D virtual tour and there'll be a link to that in the description below this video. Or if you can't find it there because you're watching on television, just give us a call and we'll email you that link. So folks, well, this is our kitchen area, obviously, and we have a double sink here, electric range, and uh, microwave and the refrigerator, those all convey with the home. As we move over here, we have a nice little pantry closet for storage, food, whatever you wanna keep in here. You'll notice we do have uh, forced hot air heating and we'll talk about that more when we get in the basement. But up here on the first floor, we do have a heat pump for both air conditioning and heating. This eight by 15 porch out here is all screened in and it has an absolutely fantastic view of Jackson Brook Lake and, you know, screened in. So if the bugs are out in the spring and early summer, you got a way to get away from them and still enjoy the lake. Do a little barbecuing out here. As we come back in, we're going to move through the house over into the hallway and look at the bedrooms and bathroom. So coming out of the living room, we step through this archway here into the hallway. And down here on this end of the hall, we do have the first bedroom. This bedroom's Nice little bedroom with a with a closet here on the end. Following down the hall, we go to the bathroom, which is right here in the center between the two bedrooms. It's got a full tub, shower, sink, toilet. And then back out down the hall, right here in the center of the hall, we do have washer and dryer hookup. So it's in this closet. You've got plenty of storage in here above it, but that's kind of handy being close to the two bedrooms. And then as we continue down the other hallway, here we do have a bit larger bedroom. This one's all finished in V-match pine as well. And if you're wondering what this is, this is your access to your electric panel. We do have a 200 amp circuit breaker panel here on the wall. That's nice and handy. And then this big closet here behind us. Back over here in the kitchen by the entry door, this is our access to the basement. We're gonna go and take a look at this next. We do have a full concrete basement down here. <clears throat> so we concrete floor, concrete walls. On this wall right here, we have the entry doghouse that goes out to the backyard towards the garage. Next to that here on the wall is an electric on-demand water heater. So you're only, you're only heating water as you're using it. Over here, we've got the 275 gallon oil tank. The owner right now has this wood furnace hooked up in here. He does have the heat pump upstairs for heat. Um, you have some options if you're looking to buy this home. He will leave this connected and that would be fine. You can use that. And, but behind this, he has the old oil furnace and the uh, forced hot air oil furnace. He's never used it. 
Um, so it looks to be in good condition. We can have this hooked up for you if you don't want the wood furnace in here. We can have this hooked up instead. <clears throat> and you look around the other places in this basement, we, we do have plenty of storage down here. It looks to be extremely dry. He tells me he's had no issues with water down here as long as he keeps the, the Bilko doors uh, shoveled off and you don't have the snow melt running down through the stairway. But this is a nice little dry spot for storage of all your gear and you got wood storage down here if you choose to burn wood. All right, before we head out to the garage, I wanted to also tell you about the internet and the cell service here. I have three bars on my cell, very good service and pretty decent connection for internet on my phone. The home has consolidated communications here as well as the carrier for internet. It's not extremely fast. It's 40 download and three up. Uh, and if you don't, if you've never heard of Starlink, you can check into that. If you really need high speed internet for things other than just surfing the net and checking your email, you may want to consider that. And that's quite affordable and, and very, very reliable here in this part of the state. Uh, the Eastern Maine Electric Co-op is extremely reasonably priced. It's half of the cost of the other major carriers here in Maine for electricity. And uh, so it's one of those things that you don't necessarily think about, but if you can cut your electric bill in half, you know, your long-term holding costs of the property are gonna be way less. Coming out of the house now and driveways here under the snow, you can kind of see it. We've got another parking area over here by the garage, but we just cross the road. And this two car garage right here. There's a lot of stuff in here, folks, so bear with us. Uh, we're gonna take a look around. As you come in here, you're gonna see we have two bays and he uses this as a, as a woodworking shop as well. Keeps his tractor in here. He's got another boat in here. We got all kinds of stuff in here. So depending on how you wanna utilize it, it can make a great workshop, great little garage. We'll take a look up the stairs here next and you can see the finished space that he's working on up there. Down here, before I come up the stairs, we've got um, electric sub panel out here for the garage. You've got plenty of power out here for your work needs. As we come up the stairs, you'll notice that this has started to be finished. Uh, I didn't mention this. You'll probably, you may or may not see it if you, when you get here to look at the home, but we had a very large popple came down and hit this uh, side of the building. It twisted up a couple of rafters, put a hole in the roof, uh, broke a window. That's all gonna be fixed. Now it's all gonna be repaired probably before you get here. But if you look around, he actually put a wood stove up here. Um, insulating board on the floor and the ceiling for you know safety and a wood stove to heat. There's a uh, chimney, metal buses chimney up through the roof here now. If you didn't wanna use this wood stove, you could certainly hook up a propane or gas, a propane gas heater or uh, some other type of heating system. Great space, you might make a family room up here. Right now it's making a nice exercise room. It is a, a work in progress with construction materials here, but I think you get the idea. Nice space, all rock wall insulated in the ceiling and the walls. Could be a big family room, uh, exercise room combo. Maybe put a little bar up here, man cave, whatever you wanna call it. Kind of a nice extra space. Thanks for taking this tour with me today of 90 Picnic Point Road here in the town of Brookton. Now I'll wrap it up with all the details for you. Our asking price on this property is $250,000. The taxes are just over $1,300 a year. We're in an unorganized township, so that's a very low tax rate here in Washington County. The, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you also have Eastern Maine Electric, which is the lowest uh, cost electricity in the state of Maine. Don't forget those low taxes, those low electric bills, they'll add up, save you a lot of money over the course of your ownership. We've got two bedrooms, one bath, a home was built in 1996, 154 feet of frontage out on the lake. If you need to know any more information, give us a call. We'll send you a property information packet. I'd be happy to show you this house. Give me a call today.